Okay, I've just finished um, using the last bit of the old muck pile. Um, so the oldest, sort of best rotted muck pile, I've just moved it onto one of the veg beds, uh, which I'll show you now. So I've put it on quite thick. Um, see, the plan was to use cardboard underneath it and then put it on top, but I've run out of cardboard. So I've kind of got half, well, just under halfway on these two with card. I need to try to find some more before I put the compost down. Uh, for the other bed over there, but this bed, I'm just going to try to use this, which is fairly well rotted muck. Um, it's just over a year old, so you can see it's it's quite well rotted. If it was slightly dry, I think it would break up all right. So we'll leave it there for a few days and see how it gets on. But it's pretty good. It's, um, it doesn't smell at all. It doesn't smell at all like poo. It just. Um, kind of smells a bit like a woodland or something um, so yeah no, that's pretty good I think um, anyway so the, okay so you can see I've taken um, we've just had a sort of an open muck pile like this um, here which I've basically used um, this one is a couple of months younger actually um, but we'll probably use that on the potatoes I think in the next few weeks um, should be better underneath. I don't. I think the straw just sits on the top, but it should be rotted underneath better. Um, anyway, this is here, and it's always just been an open pile. But then it occurred to me we've got some old tin sheets knocking around, um, and some big pallets. So I'm thinking we can screw a couple of the tin sheets onto the fence, and then we'll put a, one of the big pallets up here, I think, and we'll be able to stack it that bit higher because it'll have some square walls. So we'll just do that now. So the um, old tin sheets are on, just need to get the big pallet to go up here now. I'm just going to go and quickly check the um, well, AU really, we've got one, I think it's going to land sh shortly, so I'm just going to quickly check here. And then try to bring the pallet over, although I'm on my own today, so it's uh, monstrous, so we'll see how that goes. So literally that lamb is about, <coughs> I don't know, a minute old, two minutes old. Seems to be struggling a bit, but she got there eventually. She hasn't been scanned that one, so I don't know if she's got another one to come or if that's just the smallest single, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, we'll see how she gets on. We've got a group of four sows. You can see, um, well, they're outside, obviously, like the vast majority of animals, but um, we've just put a uh, whole bale of haylage out. It's just going to spread out. Um, quite like a bit of um, a bit of veg with their meals, really. So we feed them on it. So it's kind of like a paper plate, I always think of it as. So about once a week they get a new bale ish maybe a bit less often than when it's dry and more often when it's wet perhaps um, you can see they quite enjoy it literally just had it and I've just fed them on top of it but um, over the next few days it'll go down quite quickly try the Welsh one on it then Number eight seems to have got it first. How's she doing, Sid? Um, she's doing okay. She wasn't doing much on the um, bucket, so uh, we decided to give her a bottle. Bit of a top up.
And then we've got these two big guys down here that seem to be figuring the buckets out. And then, who have you got there? Uh, this is number nine, so she's a tiny little lamb, but she's okay. She's just on a bottle at the moment. Got a couple of these are using the bucket. Even number eight, who's another tiny little lamb, is using the bucket. But actually, she's just investigating the lamb pellets at the moment, which we've literally just put down this morning for the first time. Oh, should we have to go have a look? Ah, this is number eight. You're a tiny little girl, aren't you? More interested in the girls than the food. <laughs> It's arguably a little bit excessive, but I'm thinking we could put kale in it after they've turned it over for a month or two. So we've just moved them into a fresh paddock and um, well clearly they're enjoying themselves. Um, it's a lot bigger than where they were before, so they've got much more space. I'm going to swip in random video. <laughs> and um, they are definitely enjoying it. It's arguably pretty excessive. It's, I don't know what it is, it's about um, 40 foot by about 80 foot, I suppose. 45, yeah, 40, 40, 50 foot wide by about 80, 100 foot long. Which for eight pigs is pretty nuts, really, by most people's standards, but. <laughs> Yeah, but when you see them enjoying it like yeah, this, it makes sense. The space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're enjoying the space. And um, like there was a ring feeder here with some sheep on in for a bit of the winter. Um, so you can see all of the, they're starting to root through the, the sort of half rotted hay. Um, you see the ground levels built up quite a lot there. Sort of over, you know, over here, you can see where the hay's been there. We've had a couple of bales and it's, a lot of it gets pulled out and trampled in. But they should turn that over for us. And then hopefully we can plant some, um, probably a, either a kale or a kale rape hybrid possibly um, in this pen to feed the sheep later in the year. Or even possibly we might put the pigs back in it um, and let them eat the kale, but they'll do some of the work for us. There's, there, is, there you know, We did have some pigs in the top a while ago and they got, they got out and they have turned some of it over already, but it's not ready. I not love really seeing enough. them out in space like this, running around like this. I mean, look. <laughs> They're enjoying themselves. So Sid's just going to feed them now. So we feed them, um, feed them rolls. So if you like, they're on sow rolls at the moment, which isn't the perfect food for them. It's a bit, it's a bit low in protein for them actually, but um, they're nice big pieces. So when you feed them on the floor like we do, they they actually find it rather than get lost on it. Although at the moment they're quite into the grass. There isn't loads of grass, but it's it's enough to get them excited. Quite a lot of nettles further up actually. Hopefully they'll dig those out and eat the roots.
this video is quite interesting. You see all of the pigs, so there's eight pigs all grouped together, but which could easily be interpreted as them not having enough space or not having enough freedom. But if you actually look around, they actually have plenty of space and plenty of freedom. It's yeah. just, it's, it's a way things can be misinterpreted, essentially. Whereas, clearly, they're not lacking in space. Um, they'd be fine with a lot less, to be honest. But, nothing wrong with them having plenty of space. But you can see they, they pretty well choose to be, you know, they're a herd animal. So, they like to be a part of their herd. You know, you've got one odd wanderer up there who's just off for an explore. But, on the whole, they're pretty much spend a lot of their time together because that's what they like to do. We've had the first frost of April this morning and I um, just got here to check well, obviously all the animals um, and as pretty much standard at the minute this group of sows is choosing to sleep outside instead of in their house which is just over there but pretty much every morning frost or not they still um, choose to sleep outside snuggled up <laughs> We've got a bale of hay down at the moment, which we give them just to sort of part feed them and part just give them something to play with, really, and something to sleep in, I guess. But um, you can see they're all. Um, well, this one's up now, aren't you, my darling? You can see she's been kind of nested down in that little bit there. Um, I'll probably go back to sleep here. But yeah, so obviously pretty hardy. Health pigs obviously got a house over there. They're just choosing not to use it at the minute. Another sow over there. Everything else is using its house, to be honest. It's actually a group of um, some gilts in there. Little white in the calf hutch there. They seem to still be in bed. Um, I've just fed all of the animals and um, checked the water and everything. Um, just, well, I've just fed the molly lambs as well. Um, unfortunately, one of them's had um, their ear nipped. This nip <clears throat> Ooh, this little ewe lamb here has just had the tip of her ear nipped, so I don't know maybe one of the other lambs have done it, or if um, she's probably, I would imagine, gone to sleep with her ear sticking out of the hurdle, and possibly one of the ewes has nipped it, but um, not too bad to be honest, but I'm just going to put a bit of purple spray on it just to be on the safe side. So you can see I've just sprayed her a little bit. <coughs> Um, her ear isn't actually damaged, it's just taking the wool off the tip of her ear, which is, is good. The wool will grow back. I <coughs> um, don't quite know why her ear is wet, but... so She's a little ewe lamb on her, she's a lot older than... Oh, she smeared it all over her face, well done. Um, yeah, so she's a little ewe lamb, she's, um, she's a lot older actually than her size would indicate. She's a good, probably three weeks old, but... She'd pass for a week old lamb to be honest. This lamb is actually. Um, <clears throat> is it now? Wednesday. I think this lamb's nine or ten days old, um, and he's actually a good bit bigger than her. Um, actually, six. That's a she. She's a good bit bigger than her. Um, <clears throat> but, um, but anyway, yeah, so you can see they're just. We're just starting to get them onto a bucket now as opposed to bottles. Um, so, some are on a bucket. This big one's on a bucket. Um, <coughs> then the smaller, weaker ones are on a bottle still because it's, it's a little bit easier to control what they're actually getting. So I hope you enjoy our videos. Um, we are trying to do a few more at the moment just because there's a lot going on. Um, we've got lambing and we've got big stuff going on. A little lamb trying to eat the camera. Um, so yeah, if uh, hopefully you enjoy them. If you do, please do subscribe and uh, you'll get notifications then of uh, all of our new videos. Thanks very much.